Entering her second season on the Tigers' sideline, and it seems to be a pretty positive vibe surrounding your program at the moment. I know you chose the mantra, be unforgettable for your team this offseason and for the upcoming campaign. Why did you choose to make that the message for your group? For our young women, we really talked about making an impact um, just in the community, the Towson community, um, as well as on the basketball court. So we're very excited about it, and the women have definitely responded to that. They're definitely working hard and working to be unforgettable. And what's going to be the key to sustain that kind of mantra and focus for this season? I think you just said it well right there. I think it's going to be that focus, it's going to be that chemistry, and really the young women playing for each other. It doesn't hurt to have LaTori Hines Allen back, and when you watch her play, her game just oozes passion. It's palpable when she's out there on the floor. What does she mean to this team, both on and off the floor? She's going to be a tremendous focal point to our success this year. Uh, Tori has definitely gone home and, and continued to work on her offensive package and really more so to be a leader on the court as well. I mean, we've got six freshmen, six babies, I like to call them, and she's definitely jumped on board as it relates to pulling them along the way as well. And what about Dominique Johnson and her impact and 10 points a game last year, but a really good complimentary player for you? Dominique knows that she has to step it up in a different area for us this season, and I'm really depending on her to be able to score, to put the ball in the basket. I mean, her range is tremendous. Her attitude is contagious, and I'm very excited about where she's headed. You lose Tanisha McTiller, who led the conference in scoring. We talked about some of the players that will try to fill that void, but how do you duplicate the 18 points per game you lose with McTiller's graduation? Ooh, I haven't figured out how to duplicate it. <laughs> However, with this group, there's a lot of depth on this team. Um, probably in my years of college coaching, I haven't seen a squad that's had this much depth. And I'm going to be dependent on this whole team and this whole squad to really fill that void. And in terms of leadership, you said you had six babies, six new players. Yes. How have they embraced the mantra and the acceptance of being led by the players who have been in the program? The good thing about each of those young women, they come from winning programs, and that's all they know. So they've really brought that hard work, that work ethic to the court every single day. So I think that's playing a huge role in that. And again, my seniors are being leaders. They're pulling them along the way. You've talked that probably all of these babies will have a chance to have some impact in their first year at Towson. Who in particular may be ready to go right away when you get to opening day? Well, I've got a point guard that I absolutely love. And for me, having played that position, it's very, very important. I'm hard on her, but she's definitely taken on that challenge. So we've got an electrifying point guard that I'm excited about. What kinds of things do you share with her because of your experience as a dynamic point guard at Georgetown? I mean, she gets every ounce of, of me and, and the type of player that I was. I mean, she's a little fireball. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing that I'm very, very excited about is her leadership skills. Mm -hmm. And she's able to communicate with our upperclassmen as well as the freshmen, and they really respond to her. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest thing you learned on the sideline last year at Towson? The opening of a brand new arena, there was excitement, and it was uh, an interesting first year for you. What, what was the biggest thing you took out of it? I mean, this conference is a very competitive conference. I absolutely love the CAA with so many different styles of play. And I think being able to sustain that, as we know, a season is full of ups and downs, and how you can respond really depends on what your success is going to be. And with the addition of Elon to the conference this season, how does that impact the overall outlook of how things will shake out throughout the year? Anytime your conference is able to grow and bring in competitive teams, uh, such as Elon with a great coach, I think it's going to do nothing but be the best for the CAA. Because you have so many young parts, how important is non-conference play to build a little bit of early momentum so when you get into CAA action, you guys are, are ready to hit the ground running? Very excited about our non-conference play. I mean, we start off at Penn State in the preseason WNIT. We play two ACC schools, two Atlantic 10 teams. So it's going to be very challenging for us. So our babies are going to learn along the way, and we'll continue to get better. We hope to be playing our best basketball in March. 13 and 16 in her first season on the sidelines at Towson. It is Nikki Reed Geckler, the head coach of the Tigers. Thanks so much for joining us here on Media Day. Thank you so much. Thanks,